What do you think? We're going to start pushing again to more highs when it comes to the Dow, maybe the S&P? So there, I think there's a lot of optimism built in, and that's the question that we need to see how things play out with earnings, right? The earnings are expected to be considerably this year. Uh, and so I think that the, the proof will be in the pudding. Uh, with that in mind, Mimi, what's your wax word of the day? Oh, the word of the day has to be payrolls, right? <laughs> Looking ahead to the jobs <laughs> report. Yes. So uh, one of the things that we're watching and, and everyone is watching is to what extent is the labor market coming into balance? Um, and, you know, last summer, for instance, we had two job openings for every job seeker. Now that's down to 1.4, that ratio. That's based on the JOLTS data. Uh, ADP, we saw a bit weaker. We'll see, uh, we'll see payrolls today. So it's this um, Goldilocks scenario that the market puts, is putting a lot of weight on right now. So not too hot, not too cold. Let's, can we bring the labor market into, uh, into balance without spiking inflation and without uh, tipping into a recession? All right. So we had a guest on earlier. We were talking pretty much in depth about the jobs report. But in your mind, where does it place when it comes to importance, when it comes to, I guess, reading the tea leaves when it comes to the Fed? Do you think this is becoming more important or are we just really focused on those inflation reports? Is that what we need to watch? Well, the, the Fed laid it out pretty clearly. Right now, they have, they have two mandates, right? right? Full employment and inflation at 2%. Uh, based on the core PCE metrics, which is their favorite, and, and, and many others, we've seen great improvements on the inflation side. They want to make sure that we really are settling in uh, at 2% and that we're not going to see a spike, which might come from, say, durable goods deflation stopping and, and okay. services. So I think inflation is more important at this point still. Okay. Um, we want to get to your pick for us today. It's not that sexy. It's bonds. You like bonds. Uh, we had Jeff Gunlock on earlier this week. We've been talking a lot about him. He likes twos, threes, and fives. Which part of bond, the bond area, do you like? We like the index, which has a duration of, I think, 6.8 right now. But as you know, we're in the business of building durable portfolios that can kind of play out through a range of scenarios. And we think that over, a small overweight in bonds has it over uh, equities right now. All right, so you, you play it broadly. You said duration's about 6.8 years? Eight. Yeah, so we have the entire index right. of aggregate bonds okay. in our, our, so including corporates. We've seen record, record supply this month, or we're on pace for record supply. That speaks to the demand. Okay.